Daily Devotion with Pastor Bala for April 1st, 2021 from Luke chapter 12. Be ready, Jesus is coming back. Previously, we heard about how Jesus was talking about your life is not about the abundance of your possessions, but to be content with what God has given you because God is a good gift giver and has given you his gifts. So Jesus then continues in verse 35, Stay dressed for action and keep your lamps burning. And be like men who are waiting for their master to come home from the wedding feast so that they may open the door to him at once when he comes and knocks. Blessed are those servants whom the master finds awake when he comes. Truly I say to you, he will dress himself for service and have them recline at table, and he will come and serve them. So what does Jesus mean about being ready? And what does that have to do with what we've heard previously about Jesus saying, be content? Do they have a common theme? And the answer is yes. Because if we're too busy chasing after the things and comforts of this world, we may miss Jesus. And that's what he's kind of saying here. What happens is the servants miss the master. They basically get themselves into trouble. But if they're ready for when the master comes, then it's going to be right. And so, by the way, we don't know exactly when Jesus is coming back. So if we're too busy chasing after the dreams and things of this world, we may miss Jesus. So Jesus then continues in verse 38. And if he comes in the second watch or in the third and finds them awake, blessed are those servants. But know this, that if the master of the house had known at what hour the thief was coming, he would not have left his house to be broken into. You also must be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. So Jesus is now just spelling it out. Be ready. But unfortunately, people are not always ready. So the example that Jesus uses is kind of interesting. He uses that of a thief. Because if the house owner knew what time the thief would be coming, well, the, the house owner would be prepared. But there's also another interesting nuance to all of this, is what steals faith, so to speak, away from us? Well, actually nothing. We give it away. So what is it that we give it away to? The things of this world. So you could say when we start getting possessed by the things and dreams of this world and lose sight of God's kingdom, in one essence, that's kind of like the thief who is now stealing the most precious gift that we have, the gift of faith. Now, no one can take that faith away from you, but our desires, in the midst of following our desires, we give up that faith. So we need to be content with what God has given us and appreciate the gift of faith that we have so that we may continue to remain faithful. We attach ourselves to God's word and sacraments because this is how we are made ready at any moment for Christ to come. Join me again tomorrow as we hear about God is the good gift giver. God's peace and many blessings be with you. And thank you for listening. And please take an opportunity to share this message with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for watching.